front of that fastball. The one two. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Now another one two. Up around the face. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called. And that's going to be out number one. Striding forward now is the DH. Robbie Fish. First offering on its way. And a fastball just a bit up. Bases are empty. One man out. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. He throws him on the fastball there. Robbie Fish becomes out number two this inning. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Yeah, guys, the key to hitting in the big leagues is to hit off the heater, and this guy is obviously sitting something else. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here's another 0-2. And another foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Those O2. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. And Glenn Gonzalez will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Number 17. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. A one run finish, four to three, the final tally today. Andres Espinoza is credited. Number 13, the California-born right-hander is on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy has a three-pitch mix, and he needs all three of his pitches. If he has them all working and uses them properly, he has a chance to be very effective. Ready now, Warner Mullen, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Mullen makes a lot of great contact against left-handed pitching perhaps one of the best in the game in that regard but he does have his warts against right handers at time just not as proficient at putting the ball in play when it's coming from that side got him swinging on the fastball there Warner Mullen goes down for the first out of the game the one and no delivery very nice afternoon high skies and 77 degrees at game time and that's in there base hit. Digging in the switch hitter, Doug Oldham. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Owen won the count. Back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. In now, Tomas Castaneda. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Tomas Castaneda. Now a pickoff play at second, and the runner will get back standing. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a neck-high fastball that time. Takes a high fastball for a strike. 
We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Line drive to left. Really? Here we and go. a dive in left, but he can't get it. It'll get by him toward the wall. Hold, hold, hold. Riding in, Dwayne Comer. He'll get to take his first cuts here. A high fastball is in there. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Hey, make a pitch right here and get out of this. Get the boys in. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Digging in, Justin Freeman. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2 looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate but he's looked completely thrown off so far late on the first one way out front on the second so it was a swinging strike three Justin Freeman goes down to become the first out here in the second inning Kazuhito Yokoyama comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one the 0 2 pitch Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Yeah, and that's a great job of keeping him off balance right there. He sits him down with a very nice off-speed pitch, and that has to impress the scouts in the stands. Most young hurlers depend on spotting their fastballs, but he's showing right there that he has an effective off-speed repertoire as well. 2-0 and now. Topped him up. And it'll wind up hanging just long enough for him to run it down. And with that, leading off the inning, Christopher Herrera, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Strike one to start the at-bat. And a curveball taken for strike two. These are the at-bats that can just flat-out frustrate you. You go up there with a plan to work the count, and now you find yourself down 0-2, scratching your head because every quadrant's open for the pitcher now. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Christopher Herrera becomes the first out of the inning. Third inning here, three to one our score. Up the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Striding in once again, Greg Shelton. He singled his last time up. Lays off one and oh. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Straight up. Straight Here's a up. high straight pop up. up. Jackson has a play, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So they breeze through this half. Glenn Gonzalez takes the mound. A one run finish, 4 to 3, the final tally today. Jorge Reyes is the winning pitcher of record. With nothing left to do but await his fate, this young hopeful receives a check-in from his former high school coach, who's been acting as his advisor through the process. Welcome back to the Major League Baseball First Year Player Draft. The first pick is officially on the clock. With the first pick, the Detroit Tigers select Warner Mullen, a second baseman from the East Region. With the second pick, the San Francisco Giants select Dale Griffiths, a relief pitcher from the International Region. With the third pick, the Philadelphia Phillies select Tomas Castaneda, a right fielder from the East Region. With the fourth pick, the Chicago White Sox select Travis O'Rourke, a left fielder from the Central Region. With the fifth pick, the Cincinnati Reds select Mark McGee, a relief pitcher from the West Region. With the sixth pick, the New York Mets select the starting pitcher from the West Region.
After a long and lonely first two days of the MLB draft, this player's wait is finally over. While being selected is a major milestone, new draftees still face After impressively finishing out his draft year in a development league, this prospect has been sent to open the following season with a double-A club. A welcoming manager offers some simple wisdom. Time for minor league baseball. Number 12 gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season. And I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that and hopefully gets off to a good start. We'll see if that starts in this one today. Throw to first in time, and the bunt attempt is foiled. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. Dero, what do you got on this lineup in the series opener? Well, Matty, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods, just young guys, hungry, aggressive, trying to do damage and move traffic to both gaps. Line to line power up and down this lineup. Should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses their aggressiveness against them. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. He's a curveball taken low for a ball. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's. 